Greetings and salutations, everyone. My name is Featherhoof, and welcome back to Maze, where uh, last episode we just uh, we met, met our new friend, Vladdy. Say hi, Vladdy. Come, come on, say hi. Say hi. Come, come on. Don't, don't you, don't you, be, don't, are you getting cross with me? Where are we going now, idiot? We're going that way. Bloody sit down, or are you going to do another stupid thing? Shut up! I, I'm trying to do my intro. I, I was hoping you would say something for the intro, but you, your mouth is still moving. Why is your mouth still moving? What? I think the Teddy Ruxpin is broken. Okay, yeah, as you can tell, he's still not a big fan of me yet, but we'll bond you know, over time. You know, we'll, we'll form a tight relationship. Uh, we also met our, our new waifu. We met our new waifu, uh, Ruby, Ruby Queen Corn. You know she's got the hots for me. She she may not be, you know, expecting much from me right now because she hasn't seen all my skills, but we'll win her over. But to do that, we got to continue on through the West Hook checkpoint. Uh, firstly, though, uh, people were telling me in the comments over the last episode because I did forget to do that. I should be checking the descriptions of every item I see because they give hints as to what I'm supposed to do with them or maybe hints as to the world, the game, something. So I'm going to go, I'm going to do that. So first we have the sweaty headband. The sweaty headband imbues the wearer with the ability to walk at a slightly brisker pace than normal for short periods of time. It's not worth the risk. Good to know. So maybe I run faster while holding it. We have the cheap jumpsuit. I think I looked at this before, but we're going through all the items. Made out of a material that looks like it f will fall apart at the mere thought of a gentle breeze. This jumpsuit this jumpsuit should not be worn by anyone. Sketcher 3000. A major improvement over the Sketcher 2000. As it features the ability to actually draw lines instead of instructing children to stare at the screen and imagine the drawing in their minds. You feel like using it to draw a large face owing to your fascination with foreheads. Why do I have a fascination with foreheads? Uh, I know we looked at the English muffin. And then the coat rack. Good for hanging coats unless it is placed upside down, in which case it is not effective at all. Something tells me we're going to place it upside down for some reason. Okay, so let's put on the sweaty headband so we can move at a slightly brisker pace. Vladdy, can you do stairs? Vladdy, you coming or what, Bo? Yes, he can. He can take stairs like a goddamn champ. All right, what? Where are we gotta go? What's this? What's this? West, West, what is a West Hook, and why is it a checkpoint? Oh, hello. <gasps> Button. Oh. What? Why is that Vladdy's job? What is Vladdy supposed to do? I don't know. The game told me to tell you to, to, to fix it. You, you do it! Whatever it is. This stupid thing will never work. It is... It... Huh? Okay. Oh! Look at that! Oh, I see! It all comes together now! Beep! Here's a question. Because we're doing like... What, what's this here? Facial, facial recognition. It needs to be see the... The face of a somebody, I don't know who exactly. And someone in the comments, I, I believe it was uh, Bo. Bo said something about you're never gonna, you know, wait till you find out who you're actually playing as. Who am I playing as? Who is this person? Why are we here? And why do I have to create this recreation to oh, place headband in front of the camera? I did. Yeah, I have, and it's obviously... Like, who am I? Here. Can you do something with this? How do I... Okay, I gotta find... Oh, I gotta make an etch... I gotta make an etch a sketch of a face with a large forehead. A large forehead. Oh! Maybe... I have to look at a picture or something, and, and I'll draw an etch sketch. Yeah, I mean, I'd hope that Bo wasn't giving up too many spoilers, because I wouldn't be surprised. But now, all of a sudden, now all I can think about is who I, who am I playing as? Who is this person? 
Oh. Let's see. Need a face. I need to draw a face or give this to somebody to draw a face on. Face? I. Tim had a huge forehead. Look at that forehead. I don't know if Bob had a, a, a big forehead. What's up, boy? What a mess. Is this place where all the garbage come from? <laughs> yes, this was Bob's Bob's room. So there's something we had to do with the etch a sketch that I haven't found out yet. Give me, give me just a second, guys. Give me just a minute. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Wow, horribly sketched face. This terrible, terrible effort pretty much confirms that you will never, ever, ever have a career in drawing portraits. Your dream has been, the dreams have been shattered. You can't shatter my dreams. My dreams were already shattered. Ha, try, you know, beat that game. Can't bring me down, uh-uh. Can't stop me now. My dreams are already shattered and broken. Even though this isn't a melody to that song at all. And beep. And I pushed a bu button. Must be joking. That never worked. It worked. Well, that was still stupid. Yes, I, Vladdy, I, wherever you are, I completely agree with you. But um, hey, what works works. All right, back on the on the topic of who the fuck I am, because. There's no way I'm walking. I'm at least a person. I think I'm a person because I hear shoes. What sound like shoes? That I'm able to open this big heavy door. I was able to turn that knob. Uh, apparently, from their description, the corn can't even lift guns, let alone turn big levers like that. Oh. Yeah, this doesn't look scary at all. Jesus. Alright, what new items do I have to find now? Ooh, where's this go? We're back up! Fuck you! Where does this go? Ooh, goes to the purple room! Sub-Zero One! Sub-Zero! Alright! Oh! There's really a, a submarine or a boat here that's Sub-Zero One! Okay. Oh, hello! Yay! I got a pallet. Stupid American garbage. What? What was all that noise? What the hell just happened? A submarine assembly manual. Instruction manual for building your very own two-man submarine. Since Bob and Ted opted to budget the model, the manual is 800 pages long and mapped out in a fashion that is similar to a choose-your-own-adventure novel. Well, good luck with that, guys. Good luck. A locked toolbox. Anyway, let's... Wait, where's our... Where's the pallet? The loading pallet. There it is. You decided to pick this up because you liked the direction of the grain of wood, and that it gives you splinters while holding it from every conceivable angle. I apparently like that kind of thing. Good for me. Hello? Now, an item can be placed here. Oh. Conversation! Hiya, Ted! Just... Oh, I think that's FYI. I brought the... Uh, Ass... Acetylene? Ass... Acetylene? Ace gas tank up from the farm for the annual staff barbecue. Completely corn free, of course. <laughs> Bob. Bob! How many times have I told you that we can't have barbecues on the farm? Put it back! We're days behind schedule and stop joyriding with the tractor, dummy. Cordially, Ted. You know, why does he always end every one of his his little rants with cordially Ted? He's obviously pissed at him. Why just say, you know, you fucking Nimrod, Ted? Magic what? This magic water pipe grants you the power to transport water from one end of it to the other. There will be no reason for you to do this at any point in this adventure, but you will always, but you will carry it, but you will continue to carry it always, just in case. Oh oh. Collectible! I love all the collectibles. <laughs> I love the big why on, on, on this thing. The crane design, created by Pete's Games and Carnivals, the design of the 
Loading Crate appears to be based off a simple claw game, a fact which excited Bob to no end. Ted, conversely, wasn't too thrilled about it, but was stuck with it anyway after Bob forged his signature on the approval form. Cordially, of course. Okay, any other Great. stuff? Water. Blood is favorite. <laughs> I bet, being, you know, all electrified and all. Covered in all the electronics, I bet you want to jump right in there, don't you? Hey, Ted, I upgraded the lifting system so two people can use it at once. Our efficiency will nearly double. Bob. Bob, know that I do not say this lightly, but this may well be the absolute worst idea you've ever had. Idiot. Cordially, Ted. Can I use it? How do I, how do I use the crane? Where is the crane? No, seriously, where is the crane? Oh, hello, what are you? A locked cello case. Bob, for the last time, stop leaving your junk everywhere. I don't know how, why you even have a cello case. You don't even own a cello. Dummy! Cordially, Ted. Ooh, hello? Strange sealed box? Hey, Ted! Need this box of knickknacks loaded. Be a pal and move it for me, would you? Bob. Bob, you sloth! I'm not your errand boy! Load it yourself! Cordially, Ted. Okay, so there's lots of things I can't even open. Like, a lot. I have a key! Will the muffin get it? Nope. Okay, can't get back here. Oh. That's right, there's no jump button. <laughs> Why I keep forgetting that, I don't know. Because I'm playing a first-person game, I expect there, I expect and demand there to be a, a jump button, goddammit. All right, I have a hammer and a box cutter. I know what the box cutter's for. I know what the hammer's for too, probably have to beat whatever that is. Let's see, open the box. To find. Why you pick up so much garbage, idiot? Vladi does not understand. Shut up! There's a method to my madness. Just, just watch and be amazed. My brain is beyond your fathoming. Because you, sir, are a tiny little teddy bear. With only like a few megs of RAM keeping you together. I've always wanted to do this. Like, have you, have you ever smashed something? You've always been like. Yes, I always want to smash this! Smash! Yay! What the hell? A priceless what? That's a priceless luck pick. Oh, I haven't been reading the, the description of items. Damn it, I'm so sorry, guys. Easily the most expensive lock pick in the world, but you don't really care because you have no idea how modern economics work. Now, am I a corn? Is that what this is Is that what's going on? Am I a corn? Like, seriously. And that's, the, that's the only thing I can think of, is I'm, I'm like a corn. Vladdy won't say this, but he probably could crawl through that vent and unlock the door. What vent? To what door? Anyway, nuclear fuel rod. For reasons known only to you, you are holding a very, ra very radioactive fuel rod in your hands, ignoring every known safety procedure for proper containment and storage imaginable. You know, even I don't know it. I came up here because this is, was a way to go. Now I have a fuel rod, and all I can say is, oh, good for me. Okay, I can't touch water, so is that a clue as to who and what I am? I'm stupid. That's all I know about my character, is that he's apparently stupid as all get out. Everyone has to keep reminding him. Oh, that vent. Everyone has to keep reminding him. So. Oh, what's the boy? Get! Scoot your little uh, teddy bear butt in there. Stupid idiot, making Vladdy crawl through dumb thing. What is Vladdy supposed to do in here? Stupid. Ah! Ah! Stupid wires everywhere. <laughs> Why is this stupid? Oh! Ah! Ah! Why is this stupid thing upside down? Makes no sense. How stupid are these idiots? Maybe a Vladdy. Oh, maybe I. Ah! Vladdy has to oh, can't do this stuff. Ah, ah, boy, I so many. Oh. Hey, idiot. Yes. Did that work? Uh, yes. Stop being stupid and say something. Um. Fine. Vladdy done anyway. Do we more lucid drugs? Stupid idiot. How about Can't um? Nowhere without Vladdy. Vladdy has to do everything. Uh, Chikuno, oh, McCoydes, no, and Chikorum Sadistee. There, I said something. 
Fatty did not like any part of this experience. Also, a new path is open for you. Probably somewhere radioactive. <laughs> okay, so I didn't even realize the door shut behind me. Man, I am so observant, aren't I? All right, let's see where we take this radioactive rod. That's a lot of roundabout work for a radioactive rod. You know, something I shouldn't be holding in the first place. All right. Oh, wow, we cannot leave. The game says no, someone put boxes up. Then again, maybe we are super weak. Maybe, maybe we are a big old stock of corn because we can't move boxes out of our way. Wait, no, because the, the corn can move the boxes too. Hey, how can they move boxes but they can't lift guns? I'm confused. Okay, that's caved in. We have to go this way? Oh, I don't even, oh, I gotta find a uh, handle for me to turn. So yeah, that, that's all I can think about. Who am I playing as? Thanks, Bo. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> and who, who am I? Why am I here? Why was I left by the water at the beginning of the game? Obviously, I was... See, obviously... I say obviously, but I don't know if that's actually obviously. But, um... I must have come from this complex to begin with. Am I Ted? Am I Bob? Wow, Bob has a room really dedicated to himself here. And then grab... Ooh, mine! Paul's Pools and Pest Removal. The flyer for Paul's Pools and Pest Removal advertises big savings for orders within a 20 mile radius of the shop, along with a free extermination of one pest. The cheapest pool in the flyer has been circled several times in red pen. <laughs> what, what, who would make that business? Oh, Bob, I noticed this flyer and assumed this was your work. So I will remind you, Pools are not safe to hold chemical waste! Why did you order one? Stupid! Cordially, Ted. Is it? Bob, you buffoon, why is there a lobby here and what happened to the de decontamination room? Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Ted. Pretty sure I told you. Did a little rework here. Think this will be a real high traffic spot for the tour. Gonna be a real moneymaker. Words fail me. Idiot. Cordially, Ted. And stop with the statues! Cordially, Ted. Why does he always... Why? Why, Ted? Why do you end everything with cordially, Ted? Good <laughs> God, Bob. You look like a potato. You look like a pit... You look like a Santarin from... From Doctor Who. Reactor room. React... I have a nuclear rod! Yes! Oh, hello. I has a coffee maker. You took this... Not because you want to make coffee, but that you heard that coffee machines grant you one wish. After much thought, you wished for coffee. It didn't come true. I would never wish for coffee. I hate coffee. Coffee is gross. It's weird though. Like, I like the smell of coffee. I do not like the taste of coffee at all. Black or sugar or cream, nothing makes coffee taste good to me. It's gross. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't understand any of you people who drink that dirt water. A, a brochure for a company whose main goal is to, quote, fulfill all of your low to mid-level lobby needs, end quote. On the back, one's design is particular, one design in particular is circled in red pen, the cheapest one. The company tagline reads, waiting never felt so good. Okie dokie, where do I put this rod? Ooh, it actually lights things up a little bit. Cool. This gives off a nice little phosphor phosphorescent, phosphorescent glow. This is quite possibly the worst written book of guidelines in the history of time. None of the guidelines make sense, and the instructional drawings all consist of a stick person running away from a large fire. <laughs> Ooh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, dear lord. Bob, I have made this map so our staff can restart the, the bargain basement reactor you ordered without blowing us all to kingdom come. Do me a favor and don't come anywhere near it, moron. Cordially, Ted. Ted! Ted! I solved your maze! Took me a little while, but I got it in the end. Bob. Bob! How are you this stupid? Did you get the... Did you get your doctorate out of a cereal box? Cordially, Ted. Okay. Let's see here. Core access. Oh, I see. I got... Wait. Am I sorry? Am I following the blue line or the red scribble? I, I'm pretty sure I have to follow the blue line. 
Oh god, I don't have to be writing this down. I, I might have to write this down. Hold on, hold on a second, guys. Okay, I made something of a shitty recreation of this map on my own. So let's see if I can... Okay, so... We're here... Alright, let's see. Does, does this do anything before we go in? Reserve power... Mode active. Alright. Right, okay. So I gotta go down the stairs. Not to be an idiot in there, it would be very bad. Yeah, you, you can come with stay me. here in case you do something stupid. You can come with me and make sure I don't do something stupid. God, what a douche she is. This doesn't look ominous. All right, so core access. All right, open door to reactor room. We're in the room. So. Oh, hello. What's this? What are you? Whoa! Oh, God! I gotta go! Gotta go! Gotta go! Gotta go! Gotta go! Wait. This way. I think. Crap! Nope! All kinds of wrong. Oh, this is bad. I like the music I was playing, though. Whoops! I went backwards. I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. Dummy, 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 dummy. I found the crane, though! <laughs> Crap, I'm already lost. Whoa! Uh, actually, I wish- there's, like, no counter I can see. I can't see the ti countdown ki timer. What the balls?! Oh! I have se oh god! Fuck me! How did I get so turned around? <laughs> uh, fudge! Fudge, fudge, fuddy, fudge, 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 fudge! I'm going to die, gonna kill everyone in this facility, yeah! Okie dokie, I should've gone with my first instinct! I wish I had that sweaty headband! It would make me move a little bit faster! But then I'd be moving just a little bit faster in the wrong direction, because that's just sort of what I do. Why I made this map, I don't know, because I shouldn't have a- There we go! I go! Go! Whoop! I gotta go back and press the button? I don't have enough time! I'm never gonna make it! Oh god, 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 oh god! Come on! Come on, me! Whoever I is! Rap baskets! I'm all kinds of turn around. No! I was right there! Oh! Damn it! I was literally right there! Well, you got something to say? Ugh! Okay, now I got this. I'm not, I'm not a fan of it, but I got it. Okay. Mm. What the balls? Oh, that's right. Okay. Hey, I do like this music. It sounds like the ending, like the, the big climax to an 80s movie. Okay, okay, okay. Damn it! Okay, okay, okay. It's just so weird. It's like this this came out of like freaking nowhere. Now run back and hit the button before you blow up. Okay. I should have read that last time, it would have told me. I, instead of me freaking the hell out. But yeah, this is like just sort of weird and out of nowhere little mechanic they added to this game. Like, there's been, like, no way to hurt yourself or die or anything in this game, and all of a sudden there's just like, ah, here's this- here's this way to kill yourself. Beep. Completely, horribly, unsafe fuel rod installment procedure. <laughs> Hooray! We do good? Oh, now we gotta go turn the power on. Okay, that was a fun. That was actually kind of a little fun. 
I, I enjoyed that. It's a little change of pace. The pace got very fast, and I wasn't expecting it, but... We're starting at the worst nuclear reactor in the world. Oh, hello. Facility power status okay. Okay, okay. Status okay. Facility status okay, okay. Everything checks out, guys. We're all good. We have all the powers. But what we don't have, it's a, it's a crying shame that we don't have it, is any more time. Because I have to end this episode here. Okay, that's uh, that completely caught me off guard. Holy crap. Uh, interesting little thing they added. But like I said before, the only thing I can think of now, because of you comments, damn it, was who the hell am I? Who am I? Why am I here? I mean, granted, I think that's something you might, like the game developers intended you to think anyway. But uh, now my mind's laser focused on that. I can't get my mind off of it. So hopefully that's explained somewhere in the near future. Maybe in the next episode. We'll find out later. If you enjoyed this episode, however, let me know with a like, comment, subscribe, share it, or you can click on the annotations for other videos I've done. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.